A quick word now on our main news tonight. The commander of NATO forces in Afghanistan giving this warning that the mission could fail unless more troops are sent. I'm joined live by Republican Congressman Bill Shusto, who sits on the Armed Services Committee of the House of Representatives. He visited troops in Afghanistan last month to review the security situation. Thank you for joining us. When Stanley McChrystal says unless recent Taliban advances are reversed within a year, the insurgents could become impossible to defeat... Do you think he's right? Uh, Thank you very much for having me on, and I absolutely think that General McChrystal is right. Uh, I was in Afghanistan at the beginning of August and at the end and uh, got to see a a change in policy occur over there, and I think his assessment is correct, and I think the tactic that he's changed over there is correct. I think now what we really need to do is have what's the overall strategy there? What's the end game? And uh, and that, I don't think, has been developed fully by uh, the Obama administration at this point. Would you support a surge? Uh, absolutely. I don't think there's any question uh, in my two trips over there and talking to other military f- uh, folks here back in the United States, uh, I think there's a need for a surge. And, and I wouldn't be surprised if uh, General McChrystal calls for as many as forty to 50,000 troops uh, to add to what he has there with uh, U.S. troops and NATO troops. Uh, Congressman, just as we're speaking, we're getting word from uh, Britain's Ministry of Defence that another British soldier has been killed, a soldier from the 2nd Battalion, the Mercian Reg- Regiment, uh, next of kin, have been informed. Can you explain to a British audience, how do you explain to American voters that it's, it's worth the loss of British and American lives to help a country where the government is widely deemed to be corrupt and where the election, a lot of people think, was decidedly dodgy? Well, first I want to say uh, my uh, thoughts and our prayers here in America go out to uh, to that British soldier, that loss of life. Uh, we certainly appreciate the Brits standing with us uh, shoulder to shoulder, uh, not only in uh, Afghanistan, but you're in, in, in Iraq when you were there and helping us. Um, we, we, what I say to the American people is that we have to succeed in Afghanistan because it's no longer just about Afghanistan. It's Afghanistan, Pakistan. And I think the British uh, population is far better than the American people at this time, the the turmoil that's in that part of the world, and you put India into that mix. Uh, We've got to make sure that Afghanistan is stable. Uh, It's never going to look like a democracy like Great Britain or the United States. Uh, There is corruption in the government, but we need to help uh, them strengthen that government and have some stability there so that the al-Qaeda terrorists, the extremists, can not get a foothold there and plan the the attacks they did on 9-11. And, of course, in in Great Britain, the subway attacks of uh, July 7th, uh, a couple of years ago, right. uh, we've we've got to know we've got to fight this fight so that it doesn't occur on our shores. Thank you for joining us, Republican Congressman Bill Schuster.